Hello everyone, it's Khalid. Welcome to the Daily Pitch International Breaking News section. And today we will be discussing the PCE and consumer sentiment numbers in the US. If you haven't liked and subscribed to our channel, let's do so and move directly to the economic calendar and see what do we have. Looking at our economic calendar and pre-planned -pre economic events, on Friday, December 5, we have the core PCE, which is the Fed's most favorable inflation measure, and the consumer sentiment. These numbers will be very important to give us an idea what could be the Fed next step. Of course, if we look at the probabilities of rate cut or keeping rate unchanged, this percentage has changed a lot in the past couple of weeks. A couple of weeks ago, we reached a level where we were at more than 50 or around 60% that there will be no rate cut in December. Currently, we are pricing in that 87% to 90% that we will see a 25 basis point rate cut in December. Okay, let's have a look at the numbers and see what are the expectations regarding the PCE, uh, regarding, sorry, the consumer sentiment, we're expected to see an increase from 51 to 52. As for the core PCE month over month, no change. Let's have a look at the yearly and the yearly as well. We are expected to stay at 2.9%. 2.9% is higher than the Fed's target of 2%. So let's draw the scenarios and see what will be the impact on the XY. The first scenario regarding the PCE and consumer sentiment. If the PCE numbers are higher than expected and consumer sentiment are higher than expected, what does this mean? Inflation, number, inflation numbers are higher than expected. This could give a signal for the Feds to keep interest rates without a change. At the same time, if the consumer sentiment is still good, this is another confirmation for the Feds that they could, be, they could keep interest rates higher for longer and this will have a positive impact on the US dollar and we can see the following price movement. If from today till Friday we are still holding at this level, the 99, 98.8 approximate, and as we said we have higher inflation and higher consumer sentiment number, we could be bouncing back from here and moving once again to this level which is around the 100 to 100.2. Keeping in mind that this is a very important level, I mentioned it previously, this level we were here at the beginning of August. Beginning of August, we had a lower than expected non-farm payroll numbers and what was what triggered a strong market reaction was the revision of the previous numbers. They were revised much lower. That's why we see a sharp drop on the XY here. So this is scenario number one, if the PCE and if the consumer sentiment both are higher than expected, we could see the dollar index bouncing from here and moving up. It will be very interesting to see the, uh, the probability here, how it will be changed. I believe for December meeting, it's already uh, like scheduled and confirmed that there will be a rate cut. What could change is for the upcoming meetings in 2026. Scenario number two, if core PCE, is lower than expected the year over year coming below expectations maybe at 2.7 2.5% and at the same time the consumer sentiment coming at 51 or lower this could signal to the fed that inflation is dropping and at the same time the consumer sentiment is not in the best position that's why they this could signal that they should be lowering interest rates more aggressively or more frequently what does this mean to the dollar index? This means that it, it will have a negative impact on the dollar index and we could be breaking below this level. And my next target will be here around the 97.5. Keeping in mind to watch for the price reactions at these two levels, they are not major, but it's worth watching the reaction here. Of course, the volume and volatility of the price movement depends on how much the numbers are higher or lower than expectations. The final and least favorable scenario for us, what if the numbers are similar to expected or mixed? What does this mean? If the numbers are simply just similar to forecast, this is already priced in. If the numbers are mixed, let's say the inflation is higher, consumer sentiment is lower or the opposite, here things will get a little bit messy. And in this case, you should watch for the reaction and see, try to see if we will have a one-sided move or we will just consolidate. So in this case, I believe, we could be just doing something like this with no clear direction. As for the first scenario, I just want to do something. For the first scenario, if the inflation and consumer sentiment both are better than expected, higher than expected, 
I said we could bounce from this level, we test the 100.2, and in case we have additional momentum to break higher, my next area of interest will be up here to the 101.5, 101.6. So this is scenario number one. Scenario number two, and here the least favorable scenario, which is the numbers are mixed or on forecast. So guys, that's it for our episode for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the analysis and we will see you soon. Thank you so much.